Uh, Yelp, one-star reviews. They seem negative, but I always find them like a very untapped source of literature. This is a favorite. Awful service. Was offered crack on my way to the restaurant. House ferments tasted like soft garbage. I was like, I think this lady was actually just in an alley, and she was like, this restaurant is terrible. <laughs> Coffee drinkers are always good for an angry review. No, not good. Please train your barista. Cappuccino way too hot. No milk integration. <laughs> I didn't know what milk integration was before I read this review, but afterwards, even I was enraged. You know, I was like, why are you segregating your liquids? This is wrong. <laughs> this one came to get coffee and wait for a show at Seattle Immersive Theater to start. The place was closed, so we figured we'd go down the street to Seattle Grind and come back to wait here near the theater. We get coffee and come back, and the place is open. What the hell kind of business is this? <laughs> now, I like this one because clearly this woman has never experienced any actual hardship in her life. <laughs> that a small business turning its sign from closed to open just rocks the foundations of everything she's ever known. <laughs> and then this one is my all-time running favorite. The main reason I'm writing this review is to warn others about the trio of purees. I'm already deeply invested. <laughs> While the pestoey member of the trio is okay, the smoked hummus dip literally tasted like cigarettes. I would not recommend this to my worst enemy, though I love the idea of someone recommending dips to their enemies. <laughs> Definitely in the top five worst things I've put in my mouth ever. Also, it was so thick. <laughs> now, I don't know what happened with this one, but it definitely took an erotic turn about halfway through and just slowly degenerated into some kind of puree erotica. <laughs> I don't know if they were wearing a robe when they wrote it and it like fell open at some point. They're like, oh, I'm going in a different direction. <laughs> Yeah, Yelp one-star reviews, check them out. Uh, another thing, if you, you know, as a comedian, you get a lot of feedback online. Sometimes people are nice, but other times they're like, instead of doing comedy, I wish you were made of bees, you know, or whatever it is. <laughs> this is one of the meanest uh, comments I've gotten. Jesus Christ, you're perhaps the ugliest human on the planet. But then again, I haven't left the planet. Again, I enjoy this one because there's an introspective shift. <laughs> Where he's like, you're ugly, but then what have I done with my life? <laughs> and I do love a troll that's not afraid to self-reflect. Uh, this next one is an Instagram comment that continues to haunt me. I still have no answers. She just writes, that's so true, Doug. <laughs> Who's Doug? <laughs> Who is Doug, Carol? We need answers and we're never gonna get them.